The movie begins in a secluded place with a fence around it where a person named Muller arrives in his truck and takes a cow into a nearby forest surprisingly after he leaves something unseen however hungry attacks the livestock and kills it immediately next we're introduced to a young Josie and her family as they prepare for a vacation trip it is clear that not everything is perfect within the family as Josie's mom Charlotte scolds her for playing with an unfamiliar dog they take a fairy to a remote location and ask strangers for directions to SCO Vang and surprisingly every stranger on the road cautions them to stick to the coastal road during the car ride with the kids bickering in the back seat their distracted father Mads accidentally hits something a dark stain possibly tar is left on the car's fender but the creature they hit is nowhere to be found while everyone is ready to leave the place Josie is oblivious she follows the tar trail into the grass and this is when Muller arrives. Insisting they leave as it's a private road he appears agitated but eventually calms down after suggesting the family take the coastal road and stay away from the fence nearby Josie curious as ever questions Muller about what's behind the fence but he doesn't answer the family then dismisses him as a grumpy local and drives off later after the family arrives at their house for a holiday celebration their son Casper is frustrated that there's no Wi-Fi at their cabin with the scarcity of electricity and Wi-Fi in the cabin Josie heads outside to explore she stumbles upon a barn and looks around the items inside moreover she's bothered that they're ignoring the animal they hit earlier and being naturally inquisitive she wants to investigate the private road that Muller warned them about later when Casper and his mother go out grocery shopping he spots a girl live and gets interested in her Casper then approaches her and together they take a walk along the side of the river and spend quality time meanwhile charlotte strikes up a conversation with a local named karen who also quickly warns her to stay on the coastal road however things take an eerie turn that night when josie refuses to join her family for dinner and stays in her room driven by curiosity she then jumps out of her window and ventures out on her bike even though it's nighttime she takes a flashlight but is clearly heading for trouble soon she reaches the metal fence she was warned not to approach earlier walking into it in the grass outside she finds a wounded creature that appears to be the same animal their car hit feeling pity for the creature Josie wraps it in her blanket and prepares to take it with her at the same time she hears unsettling noises and decides to leave in fear but takes the creature with her back at home Josie gently places the strange creature in the abandoned barn carefully setting it down on the tractor she tries to get closer to the creature but it lets out a piercing shriek and attacks her after which Josie notices the same black tar on her hands meanwhile a large number of birds start leaving the forest catching Karen's attention she expresses concerns and ominously suggests Muller's sacrifice another one leaving an unsettling feeling possibly referring to the cow from the earliest scene of the series back to Josie's family the following morning they gather around for breakfast Mads Casper and Charlotte plan to go hunting for a Christmas tree but Josie refuses to join pretending to have something to do at home the family then leaves leaving Josie alone with a mysterious creature which is actually an elf as soon as the family drives away Josie enters the barn and manages to coax the little creature closer so she can tend to its wounds however the creature is afraid of her and continues to hide meanwhile Muller along with his friend brings a cow near the fence and at the same time he notices some footprints on the ground Muller then asks his his friend to take the cow to the forest well he go and investigate something important after a while all of a sudden Casper enters the barn searching for Josie and inquires about what she's doing there having no options left she tells him the truth and requests him for help initially Casper leaves the barn to complain about Josie to the parents but after some persuasion he joins her team and they decide to keep this discovery a closely guarded secret following this Casper even assists in bandaging up the injured creature. While they're busy caring for the young elf Muller can be seen peeking from an opening and notices them together he realizes that this situation could spell trouble and quickly contacts his friend Anders in a state of panic he informs Anders that the kids have got one of the young elves and urges him to walk out of the forest immediately but unfortunately it is too late for Anders as something large attacks him and drags him into the woods later as Muller arrives to save his friend 
friend he is greeted by a gruesome sight his friend friend's severed head bouncing on his car's bonnet next Liv is talking to her grandmother Karen expressing her dissatisfaction in living in the village rather than in the city right then Muller arrives there and discloses distressing news for them both he reveals that Anders is no more while displaying his severed head and blood stains on the car meanwhile Casper and Josie return to the barn to attend to the little elf to their surprise the creature has already eaten and left behind a mutilated cat corpse seeing this Casper suggests they tell everything to their parents and leave the little creature back in the forest however even this gruesome sight doesn't deter Josie from cradling the elf and showering it with affection she even refuses to call it a monster creature and gives it the name Kiko after a service for Anders Karen assures the villagers that the incident will not repeat again and requests all of them to cooperate she then arranges meeting with the vacationing family and invites them to her house for coffee Charlotte eagerly agrees seeing it as an opportunity to interact with the locals while Josie just wants to stay home with Kiko however Charlotte does not listen to her daughter and takes her to the meeting during their meeting at Karen's house Josie inquires about the fenced off forest and Karen explains that the woods were closed off due to a terrible accident at the sawmill that led to chemical contamination of the land she also mentions that they decided to fence it off to prevent visitors from entering after a while Josie excuses herself to use the bathroom and stumbles upon strange skulls pieces of wood and a radio in one of the rooms upstairs she hides as Karen arrives and calls Muller to discuss the search of the barn who seems to have found nothing hearing this Josie gets afraid and leaves the gathering rushing back up the coast to the barn there she looks out for Kiko but unfortunately Muller surprises her and seizes Kiko placing it in a sack and making off with it unbeknownst to Muller Josie secretly follows him into the woods revealing that the islanders are aware of the woodland elf they're harboring in the barn she also discloses that these elves are what's hidden behind the fence and that they've been responsible for past fatalities in the dark and ominous woods Muller leaves Kiko and requests the elves to leave them alone after he leaves Josie ventures into the unknown determined to find Kiko during her absence when when the parents asked Casper about Josie he decides to come clean and admits to his parents that they were harboring an elf in the barn Charlotte and Mads annoyed initially believe it's all a prick but later start getting worried for Josie the family then eventually drives up to the fenced off area and discovers Josie's abandoned bike Casper is tasked with going to Karen's house to request a key to the fence while Charlotte and Mads stay at the site searching for clues to open the fence behind the fence Josie enters a house and searches for Kiko only to get pursued by a much larger elf afraid she seeks refuge in an abandoned sawmill and in a desk attempt to defend herself activates the machines to fend off the menacing elf sadly the elf locates and attacks her but Josie manages to kill one of the larger creatures pushing its body to the running machine meanwhile Muller arrives at the fence where Mads and Charlotte implore him to open it initially he refuses but things escalate when Mads grabs his gun a fight ensues and a shot is fired which damages the conductors causing the power to the fence to drop with Mueller's leg getting stuck in a metal trap Charlotte uses Mueller's keys to unlock the door of the fence and enters on the other hand though Karen refuses to provide Casper with the keys to the fence Liv secretly takes her keys and sets off for the fence with Casper next Charlotte eventually catches up with her daughter who has found her way back with with the help of a returning Kiko however Charlotte overcome with fear and anger starts kicking dirt and mud at the small elf demanding that it leave ignoring Josie's pleas she grabs her daughter and heads to the other side of the fence the problem is a horde of elves begins closing in realizing the fence is no longer electrified they start banging against it attempting to break free later in the evening Casper and Liv finally reached the fence only to discover that the power is out and there's a large gaping hole in it seeing this they confirm that the elves have escaped and are now on the loose meanwhile both Josie and Liv's families gather at Mueller's place where the injured farmer is struggling to walk after his encounter with the bear trap Karen scolds Josie's parents for their actions and insists that they need to try and repair the fence and locate Casper and live she also somberly acknowledges that nothing like this has ever happened before as night turns into day Liv and Casper set off to war 
the other villagers however when they arrive at their destination they discover a gruesome scene everyone in the village has been slaughtered it turns out that the elves have always inhabited this island and the fence was erected to separate them from the humans who settled there losing their land to intruders hasn't left the elves in a forgiving mood and their goal seems to be the eradication of all humans on the island meanwhile Josie Charlotte and Karen hide in the bar hearing the ominous sound of approaching footsteps the elves have arrived simultaneously the elves have also reached Mueller's place Muller finds himself stalked by one of the elves in his pantry and tries to grab an axe but it's too late another menacing elf grabs him and brutally attacks him realizing that Muller is in grave danger Mads hastily leaves in his car accidentally dropping the radio on the floor in the process on the other hand Karen saves Josie from one of the elves but when she learns about the little girl's actions including taking care of the young elf and killing one of the elves at the sawmill she decides to take matters into her own hands she then approaches Josie and assures her that she's the only one who can save them from the impending danger the latter also believes in her words and gets ready to go to the forest with Karen Karen separates Josie from Charlotte and promises to fix everything however on the way she resorts to using chloroform to subdue Josie and leave her in the middle of the forest with her hands tied after a while when Josie wakes up she finds herself in the woods and Karen stands ominously over her becomes clear that Josie's being used as a sacrificial offering to restore balance according to Karen she then leaves the little girl to her grim fate and walks away meanwhile a blood-stained molar emerges from his house still alive and determined to help the family rescue Josie he knows where Karen has taken her as he had previously sacrificed a cow at that location and rushes to assist the family in their mission to bring back their daughter eventually the family including Muller and Liv locate Josie and Kiko who is helping her with the chains the parents are happy to get their daughter back but at the same time Karen emerges from the shadows pointing a gun at the family in a surprise turn of events Kiko attacks Karen causing her to lose control of her weapon following this a monstrous elf appears and brutally attacks Karen leading to her demise Josie's family and the rest seizes the opportunity to escape during this time Josie attempts to convince Kiko to join them but fails as they flee through the woods they encounter another elf but manage to evade it soon the group reaches the gates the generator starts up again and Muller hastily locks the fence however Josie is torn between relief at reuniting with her family and sadness at leaving Kiko behind with the immediate threat averted and the fence repaired Josie and her family get ready to make their way back to the mainland while they're leaving Casper requests Liv to join them initially Liv refuses but when Muller suggests she go with them she agrees the series ends with the family leaving and unbeknownst to them Kiko is hiding under their car thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel